welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you already know who I am, welcome back. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I've just been busy with school. It's taking up my life. But anyways, I'm going to be going in spring break, so I'm going to try to make some videos then. But I did want to make a video before I start school again tomorrow. And I wanted to do this makeup look, and it's super cute for spring. And I used the eyeshadows from ColourPop that they just came out with. really like how they work. They are so good for like, how much are they? Five bucks? They're five dollars. And they work so good. I would actually recommend getting them. They, the shimmers work super good. And yeah, I can't wait to get more eyeshadows so I can use. I like this look, it's super good for those festival seasons, those music festivals. You just could add those little dots right here. Maybe I should do a look with it, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna do a look with it. And I'm gonna be putting the, some of the products that I use down below, so make sure you check that out. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right, guys, so since I've been gone for a while, I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows on camera. What I'm gonna be using is the Anastasia Dip Brow, and this one is in medium brown. So what I usually do is just fill in the spaces that look hairless. And this dip brow is so good, it does not come off. After I do that, I like to take the brow whiz, and this one is in shade Ebony. And I'm just gonna put this up here, and I'm not gonna press on it too much. Moving on to my eyelid, and I'm going to be using the eyeshadow base from NYX. This one's in white. After I apply it all over the place, I usually just take my finger and dab it just to make sure there's no creases. And this just smooths out everything. So if you don't have an eyeshadow base that's white, you could easily just take your concealer or your eyeshadow base that you have and then just take a white eyeshadow and put that on top of it and they'll make it white also so that's a nice trick and i'm going to use the white eyeshadow that i just pointed at and set my eye that way i don't get any creases using the color pop eyeshadows i did use them already and they're really good i like how they blend and everything and i'm going to be using these all of these four shades right here, not the yellow one, but I haven't tried the yellow one actually. But I did try all of these and they work really well, so I'm just gonna use them so you guys could see how they work. I'll be using this right here and it's called Making Movies. It does have a bit of fallout, so I would just dab it a little bit, that way it doesn't go all over the place. And I'm just gonna put this a little bit above my crease, creating my own crease. I don't know if I'm going to do a halo or one of those normal eye looks that I always do. And then I, I don't like to put a lot of pressure in the brush just because when I put less pressure, it glides on where I want it to go and it's not like going all over the place. Now I'm going to come to this Morphe 35 palette and I'm gonna take this orange shade and I'm just gonna put this on my actual crease and not going over it and I'm taking this thinner blending brush maybe dabbing it will do the trick so I'm just putting this on my actual crease And I'm going to use that same shade, that peachy shade again, and just go over everything. So I am going to do a halo eye. I'm using this pink shade right over here, and it's called Fair Play. And I'm going to put this in the inner and outer corner of my eyes, and then I'm going to take it a little bit towards my crease. So 
after you finish with all that, take your eyeshadow base, primer, concealer, whatever you used for your base, and just place on the middle. And what I like to do after is just dab it to make it look more smoother. I'm just setting this part. I'm going to use a little bit of pink and orange together. And this is just helping it make it look like it has a dimension. I'm going to take a little bit more of the pink. Just the pink, not the orange. And just shape this up a little bit. I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's like a pink rose gold. This one's called Come and Get It. I'm going to put this right on here. I love this shade. Oh my god. I don't know if I want to do a wing eyeliner. Let's see what happens. I'm going to move on to the face. And I'm going to be using the Bye Bye Pore Primer from It's Cosmetics. With this, I just like to really work it into my face. Now I'm going to move on to the concealer. And I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's in the shade Light Medium Honey. Oh, that's a lot. And you got me like Baby, you got me like oh, 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 oh. Well, For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation This one's the matte one I just wish it had a pump That would make it even better I like this foundation because it gives like medium coverage And that's what I like to use like every day this is actually the first foundation I have stuck with. I always switch off, and this one's the only one I actually rebuy. Intermission. So I have to move really fast because my storage is running low. And I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I just got this like the end of the last month. And so far I've been liking it. I'm taking this middle shade right over here. And I'm going to put this under my eye. Under here. Don't be nothing creasers. For the blush, I'm going to be using this Essence Blush Up. It was pretty cheap at Target. I was looking for a blush that was like peachy, orangey. And I finally found one and it works really great. So I'm going to be using this highlighter from Becca and it's split with a blush and this one's Champagne Pop. I'm just going to put this right over here. I didn't realize that it stopped recording. What I usually do is just blend everything out like this. That way there's no harsh lines. And I take my finger and just add some on my nose like this. And a little bit of lamps. 
and then a little bit right over here. So for my lipstick, I'm going to be using these one of these new shades. I'm not sure which one yet. I Actually, I'm going to use this one. I'll put the name like somewhere up here. So I'm moving on to the bottom lashes and I'm just going to add a little bit of the pink. For the mascara, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara. It looks like the... Putting this in the bottom lash line and I did put um, my fake lashes on already. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are interested in any of the products that I used today, I will try to list them down below. And also, if you want to follow me on any social media, it will be down below. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, so it's going to be down there. Comment down below what other videos you want me to do, because I am open for suggestions. So, yes. I'll see you guys next time, hopefully sooner than last time. Bye!